Hey guys, so this message is for a very particular kind of person, <laughs> my kind of person, the kind of person who are here to create, the kind of person who are here to innovate, the kind of person who are here to disrupt and to be a pioneer in consciousness, a pioneer in life, a pioneer in legacy. And it comes from a conversation I just had with a badass king of a man um, who kind of went, you know, it is so interesting because I keep on signing up for things and I keep on investing in it only to find that there's little pieces absolutely that I get to take as value. But for the most part, I have to throw it out and remember that it always comes back to believing in myself and to do things and to do business and to do life in a way that feels really integrated and really authentic to who I am. And this is so critical at this time. Yes, absolutely. There are a lot of people who are here, honestly, just to regurgitate and who just want to tick the boxes. They just want to be told what to do, how to do it, how to say it, where to show up, how many times, da, 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 da. And they're very coachable. And I say coachable in terms of trainable. And these are the people that I don't work with because at the end of the day, I'm working the ones who are uncoached, the ones who are here to create in a way that hasn't been done before and who allow themselves to be guided by their North Star. North Star being your soul, North Star being your inner being, North Star being your ability to connect to your intuition and to ask yourself, what does this look like in a way that feels evolving, in a way that feels uplifting, in a way that feels inspirational for me? And when you start operating from a space of inspiration, what you find is you no longer need motivation. You no longer need motivation. Why the hell would you need to motivate yourself, to be motivated by other people, to be motivated by the results when you are feeling so inspired by the vision, so inspired by the potential, so inspired by life, quite frankly. Because every single day I wake up and I go, holy shit, I am so blessed. I am so blessed to be alive at this time. I am so blessed to be living in a beautiful country, in a beautiful home with beautiful people. And again, it's not because I am a billionaire. Like, stop using excuses to not Find the goodness in where you are finding yourself. What I have discovered is it takes you some serious discipline to focus, to condition your focus of where it is that you want to bring it. Because we all get to either look at the shit or we get to look at the best of what life is. And at the end of the day, you are growing whatever you are focusing on. But so many people are just finding themselves in a really uncertain almost panicking, um, a lot of the time desperate space at the moment. And so they continue investing with things that promises them result. It promises that this is the elixir that you have been looking for. And you will get some results, darling. We always do. You always get what you need to get out of any investment that you make in yourself. However, ultimately it comes down to this. You want to get clear on what it is that you truly desire. You want to find alignment with who you are as the person already living that. And then you want to take the aligned action as that person, as that version of yourself, as the fullness of who you have become through your desires. And that aligned action majority of the time looks nothing like the action that you would have taken if you were just working towards the goal with the steps and the whatever you have been given because that is not working for us. That will take you out of integrity and integrity is everything. Authenticity means you doing you in the way that feels amazing to you and you have to start trusting when it feels good. There's no need for you to suffer anymore, for you to prove yourself anymore in order for you to receive that which you desire. But what is required for you is to start living in trust that it already is, that you already are enough, 
that you already have the answers if you will just allow yourself to become still and to start enjoying the journey. It's not about the outcome, darling. It's not about getting to the finish line, especially entrepreneurship. It's about the love of being an entrepreneur. It's about the love of creating new things. It's about the love for exploring things that haven't been explored before, allowing yourself to just dabble a little bit in this and see what happens with that and then pivot and dabble a little bit in that and see what happens with that. It's the playpen of giants is what entrepreneurship is. Because if you don't bring that playfulness to it, you get all tensed up. You start losing confidence. You start losing belief in yourself. You get distracted by everything. You're continuously learning like a good little pupil. And it leads to a lot of overwhelm, a lot of burnout. And it, it makes the journey so much harder and so much longer before you start having fun than what it needs to be. So what would your life and your business look like and feel like? And how would you be doing it if you remembered who you are? And you remember that you get to do it your way. And then allow yourself to see all the ways in which you are doing it at the moment that doesn't feel great, that doesn't feel aligned, but you still have a story that because it's working for somebody else and they're telling you with so much conviction that this is the way and they have the testimonials and all the shiny shit that you're actually giving away your power to that person or that program or that tool or whatever the case might be. And speaking of tools, if you didn't read my blog today, I highly recommend that you go onto my website and read all about it because really as I was writing it, what I was discovering is that people have made tools the new age false gods. Your power lies within you. You are the power source. You channel the true power source. Everything else is just tools and toys and playthings on this beautiful playground called life that we get to have an experience with. But this is the time of remembrance of self and return to self from where we get to create and bring in new world consciousness. Make no mistake, that is what this time is about. And when you start allowing yourself to just connect to who you truly are, and give yourself permission to start doing life in a way that feels fantastic and you trust that you can feel fantastic, you trust that it's good to be happy in a world where misery seems to have been put on a pedestal, that is when you start inspiring other people to make more conscious choices for themselves because they will come into your space and they will even find harmony and feel amazing in your space and naturally get uplifted or there will be disharmony between you and that just gives them the opportunity to go all right do i want to harmonize with this person or is this just not the right space for me and both are good both are good we allow people to have their own journey we allow people to have their own experience no, nobody is better than the other we all get to have our own experience but I am speaking to the ones who are here to create, the people who are here to pioneer. And if you are in business and that is you, it's time for you to trust that you've got what it takes and that you get to do business on your terms in a way that feels absolutely fantastic. This is not the time for you to do business in a box, darling. Throw away the box and do business and life as you would want to do it on your terms. So... That's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope that everybody is having an amazing time all over the world. And uh, if you are a woman in business specifically, honey, we do business and networking so much different than men. And what I discovered it was there was no space for women like us to come and be unapologetic in our desires, in our shenanigans, in our connections, and in getting shit done, moving the needle, and doing business every single day. So if you have been looking for that space, then DM me. I will send you the details to Unapologetic and it can come as my guest to one of our meetings and see if this is an amazing fit for you. 
this is where my heart lies at the moment. This was very direct from Seoul to kind of go, we've been connecting you with all these rock star women around the world, create a space for them. So if that is you, then let's definitely connect. Let's have that conversation. Come as my guest and come and play with me. All right, guys, don't forget, you get to live your legacy unleashed, unlimited, and unafraid. Cheers.